story is called The Dog on the Tucker Box, and it's by Corin Fenton and illustrated by Peter Goldsworth. Lady sat on the tucker box watching her master, Bill. He packed up his billy and stamped out the campfire. It was time to get moving. Off you go, girl, Bill called to Lady. She knew what to do, round up the bullocks so Bill could yoke them. Bill's green high whip rang out. G Diamond, G Nobby. The mighty bullocks pulled with all their strength and the wagon began to roll. <laughs> the settlers who lived far out in the bush were always pleased to see Bill. For long, lonely months, he might be their only visitor. He brought much-needed supplies and news from the neighbouring homesteads, and the children were always pleased to see Lady. Bill had the company by the teamsters or hawkers who travelled the same tracks. <laughs> but mostly it was just Bill and Lady. Ah, oh, you're a lass I can count on, Bill would say. <laughs> In the summer, stirred up dust billowed from the wooden wheels and the hooves of the bullocks. Sometimes they travelled through the charred remains of a bushfire. It was on a day like this they came upon a stray bull. The angry beast charged at Bill's team. In a flash, Lady was between the charging animal and the bullocks. Still, the bull thundered forward. <laughs> Barking bravely, Lady sprang at the bull's head. The outraged bull flung Lady off as if she were a matchstick then turned and disappeared into the bush. <laughs> Lady lay still. tended lady's wounds. You saved us all today, my girl, he said. That bull could have spooked the whole team. <laughs> Lady spent days lying under the wagon. On the fifth day, when she wagged her tail, Bill knew she was going to be all right. Once again, the crack of Bill's whip rang out through the bush. In and out of the homesteads and all along the winding tracks, Lady left her footprints. <laughs> Close to Gundagai, Bill stood at the edge of a quagmire. 
In summer it had been nothing more than a narrow creek. Bill whistled to Lady, run ahead girl, find us the best spot to cross. Minutes passed, finally Lady barked from the other side. She's a clever dog, isn't she? G Diamond, G Nobby, Bill called. Diamond edged forward. The rest of the team followed. They were about halfway across when Nobby broke the yoke and Bill heard the snap of a splintering axle. Bill whistled long and low. Lady came running. For a moment, Bill leaned against the wagon. Then he reached for his tucker box. Come on, girl, he said. Together they trudged across the quagmire. For Bill, there was no choice. He had to leave and get help. Stay on watch, lady. You're a lass I can count on. My word, you are. Bill lost his way somewhere in the dark bush, or maybe he fell and lay injured. The following day, a passing teamster released Bill's bullocks into the bush. He noticed Lady sitting on the tucker box exactly as her master had commanded. tried to coax Lady to come with them, but she would not leave her place. They gave her what food they could spare. Still, she waited with a patience and faithfulness that could not be shaken. Bill never returned. a monument of a dog sitting on a tucker box was erected five miles from Gundagai.